Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim coming to you from Delray Beach. We just left McDonald's over here. Got Miss Tammy a Coke and we were sitting right here in the parking lot reading through your comments. And this gentleman pulled up and I said, look, Tammy, I think that's the uh, same truck with the uh, Crew Max cab on it. And then as I walk to the back, I see it's a four by four he's got on the uh, tailgate there uh, but the same wheels it's a limited magnetic gray you got a couple boo-boos one on the rear uh, passenger door and on the front fender here sad too bad as we go around front he's got the LEDs same truck same year, I think. Let me look down here and see if he's got four-wheel drive. How could I tell? I have different 20s. He's got these different bigger, wider tires. What size are they? Let me see. I'm trying to see. Um... 275 50s 20 inch and I've got 275 55s so that's a difference there because obviously uh, a four wheel driver is not going to run with these um, lower profile or whatever the 55 represents uh, on the tread but otherwise look he's got the exact same almost the exact same uh, step boards. I have this end cap that looks, oh, his is broke off. That's what it is. Yeah, they're exactly the same. This piece right here, I gotta rub this off. I got some wax on there. But uh, it's got the same part right here. So these are two 21s, exactly the same. He's a working man. He's in the lawn business. I saw him get out. I was going to introduce myself to him. He walked over to the uh, uh, Polo Tropical, get him some chicken. I see another Tundra parked in, uh, backed in over there, a white one. Another uh, work truck. But yeah, nonetheless, it pulled in. It was nice looking. He doesn't have a... Oh, he took his... Uh, he took his little tie downs out of the rails on the inside. You see, he's got that small, I'm sorry, back out for you guys. He's got this small bed too, but he took out his little side things uh, on the rails in the front. I'll show you, I've got mine still on. He took those out, these things right here. And my bed liner is sprayed. Got the track up there. And his bed liner is raw. Yeah. Nonetheless, he's got him a Tundra. Got some dings on the tailgate, couple scratches. He's a working man. And over here, what have I got here? What is all this? Oh, this is some wax that I've neglected to pull off yet. So, to those comments that I'm getting from people about being a little obsessed, well, look, I'm sorry. I'm enthused about something new. And a lot of people, like when I had the Forerunner and I built my channel, I really built it on Social Security, of course, but uh, I did have a lot of followers when I had the Forerunner. And we all shared like modifications, little additions that you would buy, you know, running boards. I put the rain guards up on the windows. I bought the um, the seat covers and the window shades and a few different things that I promoted. And that's what a channel's about. And since then, my channel's become more eclectic. Now, right now, I'm wearing you guys out about the new Tundra. We're getting ready to travel. I just got it. I'm ordering little doodads here and there to make it me, you know, and make it comfortable. And, uh, you know, needed the seat covers. I want floor mats. And I need a 
privacy back here. I need a tonneau cover. And, um, you know, the decal was a mistake. Um, I don't regret taking that off. I, I agree with everybody. The, it's a limited. It's not an off-road model. So, you know, he doesn't have one. <laughs> so I, I think that the clean lines are definitely good. Uh, they have a silver one or a little darker one that may have looked better than that bright white. Here's some more wax. Um, but, uh, no. And you guys are awesome with uh, getting involved with the comments. We're going to be moving on soon. There's more videos coming of different stuff. I've got a review coming up uh, today on a couple of products that I've received. And for those that think that <laughs> I've changed in any way as far as you know, being a minimalist or frugal. I'm still the same person. I swap titles. I still live in a camper. As one of my subscribers well pointed out in a very articulate comment in a reply to someone, I mean, nothing has changed. I mean, I, uh, I mean, I'm like, like the, the tonneau cover and a couple things that I'm going to share with you guys that I did uh, purchase recently. I have something else that I'm going to sell to offset and kind of exchange that just like I did with the forerunner and the truck here I was able to make a nice deal well I have a solar panel and a Jackery 1000 that never really got used so I'm going to be selling that and that's like money in the bank those things are in high demand and it's the 1000 and it has the Jackery solar panel the uh, Saga uh, Saga something Saga 100 watt and I'm going to sell that together and that'll offset the cost of some of the things I'm doing. So I'm just moving monies around and doing different things. It's not like, you know, I'm this uh, rich person that's, you know, doing all these different things. But um, no, we're still frugal, we're still minimalist. And I would encourage those that aren't, if you have a lot of clutter and stuff and you can turn some things into money and have things that are more practical that you can use every day, and you've got stuff just sitting around, rather than spending your discretionary money, sell some things and come up with some money to pay down debt and to get yourself in a position to where you can also uh, get to the point when you start drawing your Social Security that you can retire and start living life. Now today, I'm going to have a, um, a little surprise visit from someone from out of town that watches the channel and we're going to either see them today or tomorrow. Uh, they are from uh, Illinois, I think. And uh, I look forward to meeting them. And they told me they're gonna be in town and Tammy and I are gonna to arrange to get together with them. So hopefully they wanna make a cameo appearance on the video. We'll certainly, um, we'll certainly do that with uh, Mike and Hillary and Hillary's mom. Oh my gosh, I'm embarrassed. Hillary told me her mom's name and uh, it's in my uh, paperwork. It escapes me right now. I've met so many people. But um, we'll be sharing uh, with that with you guys later. Thank you so much for all the comments. I sat here forever uh, on the phone trying to reply to some. I know I haven't replied as many as I should have been doing over the last uh, few weeks. I make these videos and I talk about how I read them. But I am trying to reply, and I did uh, today. And... I got some very good information from you guys regarding uh, the Toyota that have Toyotas, your um, vote of confidence and everything else. But she is a beauty, isn't she? She's crushing it. 